Good afternoon, this is Brian Split with Allendale here with your closing commentary on Thursday, October 7, 2010. We did have the grain markets all close higher today with the leader being the corn. December corn closed nine and three quarters higher at uh, 498 and a quarter after trading a little bit above five dollars early in the session. December 11 corn finished four and three quarter cents higher at 481 and a quarter. On the soybean side, we'd have uh, Novi beans up three cents at 1065. The November 11 contract was up four and three quarters at 1062 and a quarter. And on the wheat, we did have both uh, December Chicago and July new crop Chicago wheat finish a penny higher at uh, 659 and a quarter and 708 and three quarters respectively. As far as the corn end of things, we did have some fun buying today based on a couple things. We had Ukraine uh, announce uh, some export quotas. Uh, this is not an all-out ban of exports like Russia is having, but uh, basically saying that they can only export a certain amount during a certain time period. So that will steer some more business towards the uh, European Union and the United States. Other than that, we had a very large purchase of corn made by Mexico. And to give you an idea of what we mean by very large, the uh, weekly export sales that came out this morning came in at 633,000 metric tons. And that was uh, towards the low end of the expected range. Now, this sale to Mexico was uh, almost 823,000 metric tons, so uh, larger than all of last week's business combined. So that was pretty bullish news. Um, we did have the funds by about six to 8,000 contracts, and uh, the trade does seem to be expecting the USDA to trim the uh, overall production again on tomorrow's report. On the soybean side, we did have uh, the market follow corn higher, at least initially, uh, made our highs very early in the session, and we did see the market back off a little bit into the close. Um, the funds did buy 3,000 contracts, and... Uh, it looks like the uh, exports were at the upper end of the expected range today, but really didn't provide a whole lot of support considering corn was up really about 8 to 10 cents most of the session here. On wheat, uh, again, we were really up early with corn, making our highs early in the day as, as uh, the soybeans did. But uh, we actually traded lower late in the session, only finishing a, a penny higher. Um, out of the exports this morning, the wheat was really the only one that had bullish exports coming in above the trade range estimations. But... Um, the uh, market just couldn't hold on to the, those gains, and the chart does have uh, more of a bearish outlook on it compared to corn and, and soybeans, and the funds did come in and, and buy a 1,000 contracts of wheat. Um, we're going to have this USDA report tomorrow. That's going to be the main news of the day, and uh, you're going to want to uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's uh, uh, morning video for a recap of what those numbers have to say and what we feel it means. On the uh, meat markets today, we did have some lower trade in the hogs, uh, lower cash pork on Wednesday, and lower cash hogs were bearish for the futures. Uh, the USDA average cash pork price on Wednesday was down three dollars and sixty five cents at eighty one fifty six per hundred weight and uh, that is largely due to a nine dollar and eighty eight cent drop in average cash pork belly prices and also seven dollars and twenty three cents in ham. The October contract was down seventy five at uh, 74.52. On the uh, cattle end, the uh, higher stock market was supportive to the market early in the day, but a little bit of spillover from the hogs uh, brought those markets off their highs. We also had the stock market turn around and trailed, mi trade mildly lower, and that also bought the uh, bought the uh, cattle off of their highs as well. Um, we did see some uh, firm export numbers here at uh, 14 and a half thousand tons. But uh, the funds have been sellers lately in this downtrend. Um, as far as the outside markets, looks like the Dow is trading about 15 points lower going into the last half hour of the trade. S&P down about two. Uh, we did have gold finish $12 lower today, and that was about $30 off of a new record high. So we traded up to uh, $1,366 an ounce in the December futures. Again, rejecting that new high and closing lower on the day. A lot of that was because of a reversal in the dollar trade. The dollar was sharply lower this morning and uh, was actually higher by uh, mid to late session. It looks like as of the recording of this, the dollar is coming off of its highs and it's only up a few points right now. So this could be a little bit of a head fake, but just goes to show you how um, how quickly these guys are going to jump in and out of the market any sign of, of uh, turnaround in this dollar. And it's no secret there is a little bit of a currency battle going on right now. So uh, the trend is down in the dollar, but uh, any sign of, of uh, strength is going to cause some liquidation in certain markets. A uh, key number that we may want to pay attention to is uh, the high from a few days ago of 70 uh, was it 78.90, I believe, or 77.90. But basically there was a key reversal on the chart where we opened up um, 
above the previous day's highs and close below the previous day's lows. So look at your chart. If we actually take out those highs of that day, then this dollar index may find a little bit more strength after that. Um, another market of mention today is the cotton market. I had some solid exports this morning, and uh, the past... Uh, handful of, of USDA reports for cotton have all been bullish so up the four cent limit today in the nearby contracts and uh, if that market can go up and take out the previous contract highs off of tomorrow's report then uh, we're going to see some higher highs ahead of us uh, you know, on a technical notion. So keep an eye out for that as well. But uh, again, the main story tomorrow is going to be the USDA report, so that will be out at 7.30 Central Time. If you want to discuss the uh, anticipation of that report, please give us a call uh, either today or, or tomorrow morning ahead of those numbers at 1-800-2-MARKET. That's 1-800-262-7538. And uh, if you want to see what these numbers have to say after the numbers come out, please allow us a little bit of time to digest them. It usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes to run through the numbers. So usually about quarter to eight is a great time to give us a phone call and see what we have to say about it. And again, it's 1-800-2-MARKET. Um, also, you can check us out online. We'll have some information on the website at www.allendale-inc.com. Good luck trading tomorrow. Thank you.